it's a lot to take in. Now, when we think about saddle design, I want to think about the tree being like the skeletal structure of the saddle. That tree has to match the horse's back profile and his dynamic profile, what he looks like when he's in movement. The panels that go underneath are there to provide shock absorbency and a little bit of balance change from front to back because as we described before, we could have horses that are downhill built, flat uphill. They can have the same longitudinal arc. They can have, you know, say we've got a flat back horse. So the tree arc will be the same, but the panels are going to enable the balance of the seat to be correct. So ideally, when we're talking about weight distribution, in order to get that weight distributed as evenly as we can from front to back for the optimal amount of time, so we're not getting massive increases of pressure in any specific area. We aim to get the rider's weight towards the base of the wither. We want to get basically 50% of the rider's weight distribution in front of the base of the wither and 50% behind. The head length can change where we put that rider's weight. If we have a tree webbed up in a specific way, we can end up with the rider's weight really towards the rear here with far too much weight distribution for a greater length of time into the back of the saddle. Equally, we can end up with a rider too far forward. So head length is an important consideration for us. When we're looking at the seat balance for the rider, we're trying to get the rider, as we said, towards the base of the wither. Now we might have the tree shape correct and we might have the head length correct, so it enables the rider potentially to be here, but we can have the wrong panel pitch on a downhill horse. We could have too deep a panel behind and that's gonna put the rider really towards the front. On an uphill horse, we could have too shallow a panel and just because of that, we could end up with too much pressure of the rider towards the back. So that's seat balance point. Our panel contact, well that comes back a little bit to not only the tree shape, but also the way the panels are built. Also flocking. So often we can get saddles that are massively overflocked. They might be too round through the middle here. They might be too hard towards the back. They might be bridging. So we might have the tree shape correct, but the flocking in the panels is so bad that we end up with incorrect pressure and incorrect contact through the panel itself. There might be too much in the center and the saddle is rocking, too much pressure in the back. So panel contact is really important. Along with that, number eight, we've got panel pitch. That's this shape here. Okay, so the shape of the panel behind is really important. If we think about our A-frame horse here before and we saw that flatter tree not making contact with the outside edge. Our panel pitch is really important. If we want to distribute that rider's weight over the greater surface area, this shape here has to mimic that. It's one of the reasons why it's so important for horses to have their saddles checked regularly because we might have a horse like this who starts developing muscle and becomes rounder the pitch might fit him right now, but in three or four months time as he muscles up, the pitch becomes too steep and he gets too much pressure on the outside edge of the panel and not a much enough pressure on the inside edge. So the panel pitch has got to match his, his muscle, muscle development at the moment and a little bit of his confirmation as well.